Sports 40's Monica Indiana. She's joining us now live from the evacuation center. Monica, you're at Sierra College in Rockland. You've been talking with people who have been evacuated from their homes for a week now. How are they doing? This has to be frustrating and worrisome at the same time. Yeah, Nikki, they're feeling a whole bunch of emotions. I talked to multiple people and all of them are just, they have this feeling of gratitude for the support they've been getting. I want you guys to take a look here behind me. There's some campers here at Sierra College, people with their cars. Uh, for now, they're calling Sierra College home, but they're choosing to focus on the outpouring of support they've been receiving at evacuation centers like this one. They forgot. Oh my God. It's the little things, like a hairbrush, toothbrush, and toothpaste that Linda Hoffman forgot to grab as she rushed to evacuate her Forest Hill home last week. It looks like a volcano erupting. Very scary. Since then, Hoffman's been staying in this camper with her kids and their dogs. Yes, that's Mr. Darcy. Hoffman admits caring for her dogs, her kids, and herself, all from inside this fifth wheel, has been overwhelming at times. He's a kidney transplant and she's a special person, so, and I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> but there have been plenty of positives in the midst of the stress. Having to move from the first location, the evacuation center, that was so traumatizing because I didn't have a vehicle to tow my fifth wheel. The pastor comes out of the church and goes, oh, I have a hitch, I'll take you. That pastor from Bell Road Baptist Church brought her family to this evacuation center at Sierra College. Everything you need, bathroom facilities, shower facilities, we get towels, we get soap, we get hot water. Hoffman says the Red Cross has been phenomenal, as well as people from neighboring communities who've stopped by to offer their help. Is there anything you guys need? Can there anything at all we can do to help? We would just love to help you. And I mean, and you're crying so hard you can't answer them. It's just overwhelming. I mean, just like, Magic, everything up here, whatever our hearts desire, our needs for our little critters, or the kids, or my personal self, it's just there. Although there's no way of knowing just how much longer they'll have to be out here, Hoffman is choosing to smile while finding comfort in the little things. Well, I think the wind blowing right now, it's just this breath of fresh air that comes through. It's just, it's okay. It's going to be fine. And Eric, Nikki, despite all the things that these families have gone through over the past week, it's nice to see that they're keeping their spirits up and making the best out of the situation. Reporting live in Rockland, Monica Deanda, Fox 40 News.